Welcome to this video lesson on the Trans Himalayas, part of 10th Standard Geography. I am Subramanian. Let's get started. Generally, the physical division of India has been divided into the northern mountains, the great northern plains, the peninsular plateau, the coastal plains, and the group of islands. And the northern mountains consist of three parts, namely the Trans Himalayas, the Himalayas, and the Purvanchal. In this lesson, we are going to deal with the Trans Himalayas. Let's know something about the Pamir knot. The word knot refers to the convergence of some of the world's major mountain ranges, including Tian Shan, Hindu Kush, Karakoram, and Kunlun. The origin of the word Pamir is still unclear, although the Tajik name for this region is Bomiyudinyo, our roof of the world. Other sources claim feet of the sun. The Pamir knot is actually centered in Tajikistan. The fringe areas extend into Afghanistan, Pakistan, China, and Kyrgyzstan. And this is about Trans Himalayas. The Trans Himalayas extend from Pamir North in the west to Kailash Range in the east. Trans Himalayas located north of Greater Himalayas. It is also called the Tibetan Himalayas because most of it lies in Tibet. It consists of four major mountain ranges namely Karakoram, Ladakh, Saskar and Kailash mountain ranges. Karakoram range is called as the backbone of High Asia. K2 is the second highest peak in the world and it is located in Pakistan occupied Kashmir. The Trans Himalayas stretches for about 1000 km in east west direction. The average elevation is about 3000 meter above mean sea level. The average width of this region is 40 km in the extremities and 225 km in the central part. Trans Himalayas consists of four mountain ranges of these. The northernmost or northwestern part where Karakoram range is located. It is also known as Krishnagiri. It forms India's land frontiers with Afghanistan and China. It acts as watershed between India and Turkestan. Watershed is nothing but a mountain which has two river systems on either side. This Karakoram range extends eastwards from Pamir North for about 800 km. The average width of this range is 120 to 140 km. K2 is the highest peak in the world and located in POK. K2 has been named as Godwin Austin by the Britishers, Chogori by locals, and Kyogyefang by the Chinese. Uh, this is Google map where you can see the white patches in a narrow and elongated form. This is Karakoram range, the longest mountain range in Trans Himalayas because it extends for about 800 km. It is found north of Leh region. Next comes Ladakh range. It lies north of Leh. It's an important part of Trans Himalayan range that merges with 
Kyla's range antibet. Apsaras with the 7245 meter is the highest point in Ladakh range. This range runs for about 370 km approximately. The important passes that lie to the northeast of Leh region are Kadung Law and Daigar Law. The word law means passes. The third one is Zaskar Range. It is separated from the greater Himalayas near 80 degree east longitudes and runs parallel to it. Nanga Parbat with the 8126 meter is the highest point in the northwest of Zaskar Range. Ladakh region a range is located north of Zaskar Range which runs parallel to it. The average elevation of it is about 5,800 meter above sea level. It's about 300 kilometer long. The fourth range of the Trans Himalayas is nothing but Kailash Range. This is located in the eastern edge of the Trans Himalayas. It is situated in the western Tibet. When you see the average elevation of this range, which is 5,500 to 6,000 meter above sea level, and its average width is about 30 kilometer, Mount Kailash with 6,740 meter is the highest peak of this range. River Indus originates from the northern slope of Kailash Range. Monosarovar Lake and Raksasa Lake are located south of Kailash Range. Let's see the video which follows immediately and we will know the amazing facts about Monosarovar Lake. Ma Pam Dumko is the name of Monosarovar Lake in Chinese language. The word Monosarovar is derived from Sanskrit. In Sanskrit, Manas means cool mind. Sarovar means lake or large pond. Its surface area is about 410 square kilometer. The maximum depth of this lake is 90 meter. Its surface elevation is 4590 meter. Its total circumference is 88 kilometer. And there are two lakes, one in the east that is Manasarovar and the other one in the west that is Rakshasthal Lake. There are four rivers originating from Manasarovar Lake. They are namely the Indus in the north, Satlej in the west, Brahmaputra in the east and Gagra in the south. There is a distance between Manasarovar Lake and Rakshasthal Lake that is 3.7 km. But there is a narrow stretch of water connecting these two, which is called Ganga Chuk. Now you see the four mountain ranges located on the Trans Himalayas from the west, namely Karakoram Range, and the next comes Ladakh Range, and the third one, Saskar Range. And the last one, Kailash range. So from west to east, the western edge, we have got Karakuram range, while on the eastern edge, we have got Kailash range. Of all these, the highest peak is K2, Godwin Austin or Chogori by locals. This is located in Karakuram range. 
from what we learned so far could you try this the first one match the following column 1 range column 2 peak range 1 karakoram leather zaskar and kailash ranges column 2 peak mount apsarasas mount kailash mount k2 mount nangaparbat the next part is answer in your word how long is trans himalayas extended for about 1000 meter 2000 meter 2400 meter and 3200 meter how wide is trans himalayas at the central part 325 kilometer 225 kilometer 425 kilometer and 525 kilometer which country is the Pami Nord centered in? Pakistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkestan. Which of the following longest mountain range? Zaskar, Kailash, Karakoram, Ladakh. Why is Trans Himalayas called the Tibetan Himalayas? Why is Mount K2 not exactly the highest peak in India? And this is for map practice for four ranges. Numbers are given in their respective places. So you have to name the ranges shown by number. Number one number two number three and number four thank you for watching this video lesson if you like it please subscribe